Hello, I'm Benjamin Barron from New York. Um, could you speak about your uh, insurance business a little bit, and especially the retroactive policies you've been writing? We speak about the, the did you say the reinsurance business? The reinsurance. Well, I heard the retroactive part, but the first part. The, the reinsurance and the retroactive, and also the market in uh, Bermuda and how you see it. It's one of your potential markets. I think the retroactive market is, uh, what's called retroactive insurance has been pretty well uh, eliminated by developments in, 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 in accounting. At, uh, uh, so I would not expect us to really have any volume in, in, uh, in retroactive type policies. Uh, now when we write workers' comp with a, with a, uh, with a policyholder dividend, in effect, that's a, that's a retroactive policy. But that's, that's a relative, that's a, that's a small part of, uh, of, of Berkshire's business. Did I answer what you were driving at there? Pardon me? Did you get the insurance? Just comment, comment on the development of uh, the, the insurance business in Bermuda. Oh, uh, Bermuda, Bermuda is simply a, a, you know, a, a new competitor. They're not so new. I mean, there have been companies in Bermuda before, but, but in the last 15 months, 18 months, maybe there's been $4 billion plus raised and because for tax reasons, uh, maybe other reasons as well, but certainly for tax reasons, uh, that capacity has been concentrated in Bermuda-based, Bermuda-domiciled uh, reinsurers. But essentially there's no great difference between that type of competition and other reinsurers' competition except for the fact that that capacity is new and the money's just been raised and so there may be some greater pressure on the managers of those businesses to go out and and write business promptly than on somebody that's been around for 50 years but it, it uh, it's uh, it's no plus for us anytime new capacity uh, enters any business that that we're in and and that certainly certainly goes for the reinsurance business reinsurance business by its nature will be a business in which uh, some very stupid things are done uh, en masse periodically. I mean, it, it, uh, you can be doing dumb things and not know it in reinsurance uh, and, and then all of a sudden wake up and, and find out the, you know, the money is gone. And uh, it's, the, it's what people have found out, and I used that line in the report a year ago, it's what people have found out that we're speculating on, on bonds with with low margins recently that you know you don't find out who's been swimming uh, naked until the tide goes out and uh, <laughs> essentially that's what happens in reinsurance you don't you really don't find out who's been swimming naked until the wind blows and, and 